Yo, what's going on guys? Many here and welcome back to Sunday League with Under The Radar FC. Yes, 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 I know. Manny, what has happened with your arm? Just, just, you'll see that further on in the video. Just know that right now I can't be as animated as I am because, you know, just, I have never, ever, 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 never been in a situation where I have had to have my arm in something like this. This is rare for me. But yeah, we'll get onto that later on. Anyway, if we're looking at things over the past few weeks, after our really bad start to the year, we've started to turn things on. Although we aren't playing the best football and we're not scoring the best of goals, we're not scoring enough goals, we are winning. And winning is what matters at the end of the day. But yeah, the results are coming along and the games are getting bigger. So last week we played a quarter final, so we're in a semi-final after winning that. Sorry if I spoiled it for you guys, you should have watched the last one already. But yeah, this week we have another quarter final, which gives us the opportunity to get closer to maybe getting one or two trophies this season. That is the aim. You know you guys want to see it, we want to see it, and we all want to enjoy it together. But there's a bit of a twist because an opportunity that we didn't think would come our way has come our way once again. We are playing against Wellingtown, which is one of the few teams to have beaten us this season, and they weren't an easy side to play against. We've previously lost 4-2, but hopefully we've learned from our mistakes and we can come back better and stronger in this game it's a massive opportunity before we check in with the UTR gang let's see who was the winner that lucky winner for that PlayStation 4 the winner for the PS4 the winner and who is that winner the winner is go on drum roll please okay Bill. That, was, that, that was underwhelming but okay Bill dot tut what's his favorite goal what's his favorite goal Lambridge first game before he got injured we took out the, the right back took out the center back and then finished it past the keeper Okay, so he's the winner of the PS4. Bill Tart is coming to you. You're going to get a DM from Manny. Because I can almost do it. I know you guys are really eager to see the game, so let's quickly check in with the UTR gang. Jay Pepper says, big up the UTR gang from Hastings. Got to say, as a fellow goalkeeper, I understand the struggle for Corey with the laces and appreciate the assistance from Jamil. Come on, boys. Let's get it. Michael says the last episode was so good that he had to watch it a third time. He says one of the best series on YouTube. Shout out from Trinidad and Tobago. Michael, you absolute legend. Thank you for the love. Keep showing it and we appreciate you. Neil Humphrey's given us a bit of feedback this time and he says he's loving the videos, but we're trying to pass the ball into the net and uh, he's saying we should get some shots away in and around the area. I'm not gonna lie, I totally agree with you, but I'm gonna say on our side of things, we look at the pitch and we second guess every shot. However, we should just take that chance and see where it gets us. We probably will score more goals that way. Deshaun says he's always looking forward to the UTR games all the way from Guyana. I hope I didn't butcher that name. And uh, thank you, Deshaun. Keep watching, keep watching. It's about to get interesting, I'm telling you. Apostolis says, loved it today, boys. It's just like the games I have here on Greece and keep up the good work. He also said he's waiting for me to come to Greece sometime in the future. I mean, maybe book the ticket and you might just catch me there. Right, that's all done. Let's get into the lineup, get into the pre-match stuff, and we'll get into the game. In goal this week, and we have Mitch returning. Right back, and we've got Bradley coming back in place of an absent Lewis. Center backs for today are Jamie and Carell. At left back to begin with, we have Reggie. In the midfield three, we've got Tolu, Luke, and myself. On the right wing, and we've got Toby. On the left wing, we've got Jed. And finally, to finish it off, we have Thomas up top. A thin bench today, once again, for I think the second week actually, we've got Jamil on the bench. Keep 
and raise it, torso twists. <laughs> Jams one way first, man. Now you push your body. He just he just woke up, man. Now we take them backwards. That's when you come alive, man. You got a squat. Exactly. Go. Guys are moving, look at him. Alright, right. <laughs> Left! Hey! Jesus! <laughs> Left! Oh! 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 One more, one more, one more. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, take out, take out. Alright boys, first of all I'm gonna start off with saying, remember how last weekend did. Let's start like that. Energy throughout. Everyone wanting it. Like the way last week went, we could banner, we could afford to banner. Mm -hmm. Obviously it's a cup quarter final again. Serious. But at the end of the day we still wanna have fun with it. Mm -hmm. So let's get into the position where we can have fun with it. Like you, can, you started the game, you were like, not feeling it. By the time you were creasing at the end, making jokes, if you see the team talk at the end of the last game, you wouldn't even believe it was you that started the last game. <laughs> Heads on from the start. If we lose, we have to come off knowing that we've given 110%. Mm -hmm. If it's like a refereeing decision or something like that. But let's take the game into our hands. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Thomas, lead from the front, mm -hmm. tempo from the start. Mm -hmm. Bully guys, mm -hmm. bully guys, all over. Jed, same thing with you. Defence, speak. We've done all right over the past few weeks, defense and communication and stuff like that. Just keep it going. Let's make sure that we're moving forward together as a team. If I make, make a mistake, get on my back, but let me know the right information. I'll try and do the same with all of you. Like, let's do this together. We don't wanna, be, we don't wanna lose to this team. We lost to them before, 4-2, and we came off thinking, oh, we should have done better. Or well, we shouldn't have lost that game. Let's not go off with that feeling today. Losing games ruins my Sunday. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. Ruins my Sunday, ruins my Monday, Tuesday, and then also my Friday, and Thursday when I have to edit and go through it. So let's not have that. Let's win. Alright, All right. boys, so before we go into the team, for those of us who played last week or even watched, there was a certain passion. That's the passion we need today. I know some of us need that sort of anger to boost us. We hated the other team, the rubbish they were saying to us, and that fired us up. You guys need motivation, anger. Remember last time we played these guys, how good they thought they were. If we were to, like, I want us to come off the pitch today saying the other team wasn't good, but with a win. I don't want, because the worst thing is losing and saying the team wasn't even that good. That's the worst possible feeling you can have. So today, from the off, I'm not saying be like Messi, Ronaldo in the first 10 minutes, but be smart. Don't play when it's early on. That's when the game is cagey and the tempo is high. Let's slow it down and play our football. Defence. These people said their pitch is good. Listen, it's a bigger version of our pitch. So we don't play. We defend first. Midfield, get on the ball. Let's dilly-dally in their half of the pitch. Let's pass. Defence splitting through balls. Tom, hold it for me. Listen, you won't play a bigger centre-back than the one you did last week. You bullied him. You went out for a header. He fell on the floor. That's because you're fired up. Let's give it to these people <coughs> half your size and even half his size. Also, so let's just splatter them all over the pitch. Go into the semi-final and enjoy our weekend, boys. Remember how we started last time against these lot? Everyone was saying, well in town, well in town. And then they panicked. First 5-10. The only thing that changed that game is they scored first. And then we were chasing the game. Let's make them chase the game. Yeah? Okay, so it's game time. A massive, massive encounter. UTR getting the rematch that we never actually thought we'd get up against well in town it's the time for players to show what they can do in a big occasion i know yes it's still sunday league but it's still a big occasion this team is unbeaten they have not lost any games this season they're still in every cup competition and they are top of their league unbeaten right then will we be able to defeat the unbeatables like i said that record that they're holding is incredible so it's not going to be an easy task at all as we've won an early free kick in this game so then we have jamie to take this free kick for us and that is only going to go as far as a well in uh, town player but it's going to come out wide to reggie 
and uh, Reggie fizzes a pass that's a bit difficult for Jed to deal with this time. It's cleared up the pitch by the number seven for well in town. And here the number 17 on the far side, who always seems to score against every team I play against, goes for a shot there. And it's a good, big save by Lewis. We could have gone down 1-0 within one minute and we could have been in trouble already. So that shows that well in town do have a danger on the counter attack and a threat there with that number 17 especially. Danger's already started. Well in town are quite comfortable in possession normally. This time they've played it into the 17 who sets it back to the four. 17 tried to nutmeg on me there and I just was not having it. Anyway, I did mention to the boys before the game that we need to put pressure on them from the off. We need to force them to make the mistakes. They've got the record to hold. We've got nothing to lose. Let's go at them. So yeah, pretty much from the off, that was our game plan as this time Reggie's thrown the ball into play. Luke hasn't really won the flick on, but it's gotten to Jed somehow. And it looks like we might have something going forward on the attack as Thomas has the ball on the left-hand side. He's got the number six trying to close him down. What can he do? He set the ball back to me. It's come back. I've taken the touch. I've played it into the box. Jed goes for it and the 15's defended well. It will just go into their goalkeeper's hands. Well in town now, coming up the pitch with their right back as he clips in there. It's cut out by Carell and it's going to drop down to the number nine. So they have a ball in a decent area for them to create an attack there but it's up against one of the best right backs if not the best right back in the league Bradley and he's not going to let him get past easy at all that throw into the box then it's just slipped through the hands of the number seven there and it's going to go straight to Bradley uh, it goes to Toby who tries to flick it uh, round the number 15 I go to put pressure on the number four Toby almost nicks in there but the ball's going to go back to the Wellington uh, number 15 but Toby's trying to apply and put him under pressure again as the number seven gets the ball he gets it to the back post it looks like we're sleeping and once again that number 17 finds himself in a decent bit of space to trouble us and it's not looking good over there the ball's just been cleared up the pitch by Carell and how about that for a nice touch and a bit of composure from the number four as he plays it back to the 19 but he's put under pressure and Tolu's put in a late challenge on him but I don't think the referee has seen it as play continues then so Reggie has the ball he tries to play it through to Tolu there tackle putting on him by the right back they'll run through to their keeper it's beginning to look like the game is opening up for whoever wants to take it really as this time we seem to have lost possession there it'll go to the number four right back will flick it over my head and the nine controls it and plays a lovely ball through perfect weight on it almost as Reggie makes a good recovery tackle and it it looks like he's gonna let it run out for a corner. That corner in swinging by the number 17 towards the back post and it's hit off the 14, hit off the 7 and Bradley is there to clear it off the line and that could have been dangerous for us. It is a very, very close call. Up the other end of the pitch now and Toby's applying some pressure onto their goalkeeper, giving him no time so he's got one thing to do and that's going to be to clear the ball up the pitch. Tolu gets it down, it will go to Reggie. He's got the 17 coming back from an offside position. He's given the ball away though to the number 9 and it looks like Wellington could be in behind our defence but what about that for a challenge by Carell? to save us from any danger there. Lovely tackle, and he's just getting a bit more confident, Carell, playing really well at the moment. This time when the ball's gonna come down to the number nine, who does well, brings it down nicely and plays a lovely ball, looking for their 17, who's been causing all sorts of problems so far, but no problem for Mitch this time. We're not even 10 minutes into the game, really, and the space is really starting to open up, but it looks like we're sleeping at the moment. It's a switch pass from the number 20 to the 17. All their play at the moment seems to be going through him. This time he's trying to cut in on that favored left foot, but Reggie, too strong for him there, and just holds him off and stops that attack. It's in the air and up for an aerial battle as the 14 wins that out, although he did use his hands there a little bit. Uh, Toby plays it into Tolu. I'll just clear it straight up the pitch. Thomas wins the header now and uh, the 15 is under pressure from Toby. He's flicked it around Toby. Toby does enough and wins us the throw in. And can we start an attack from that? Toby throws it in this time uh, looking for Thomas. Thomas plays it back into Toby. I've made a little running behind, a bit of a delay on the pass to be fair and uh, I am called as offside. Over on the far side of the pitch, again, number nine playing a good pass to the 17, but Jamie cuts it out and then Jed can bring it up the pitch and clear it away for us. Well in town are very confident. They're a good team when it comes to playing out from the back and this time I've gone in for a challenge but it's late on the 11 as I think the bobble just really helped him out there. It took the ball away from my foot and I've ended up committing the foul. They pick it up from deep again. It'll go to this guy with the red boots and you can see he's clearly searching for a pass up the pitch. It'll go for a long one but unfortunately this time for the number 17 he's behind enemy lines too early. It's offside. Carell this time picks up the ball for us and it's a nice pass out to Toby. He can't quite get under control. It's going to roll to the number 15 for Wellington. And once again, they're trying to play out from the back, but this time it's a mistake. It goes to Luke, but there's our mistake and it'll just go out of play. Moments after that, they've got the ball with their left back. He tries to go and play a pass down the line. It's cut out this time by Bradley. It'll go to Tolu, who's giving it on to Luke. What can Luke do? He gets his head up this time, goes to play the pass to Tolu. He's run away from him, but the sevens come clattering into Tolu and that's going to be a free kick to UTR. So from that free kick, what can we do? 
Maguire deliver it into the back post. It goes to Jamie. Jamie's headed it across the goal and it's an empty net for Thomas to head it into. We are 1-0 up and it's something that we really, really did need in this game. The first goal is very important at times and it can make the morale of the other team drop and take yours totally to a different level. So we've taken that goal, got in the lead, and I did say to the boys before the game, it's very, very important that we get the first goal in this game because it can shape the rest of it for us. So we continue on from that, we're inside their box again, this time Jed's crowded out by their players, it's cleared up the pitch by the 17 and flicked on quite nicely by the 7, this time Bradley miscontrols it a little bit but he gets in front of his man nicely, uses his body so well, always, always been very good at that uh, Bradley since I've known him and he's won us the free kick. Play continues on anyway and in the middle of their half I've been able to play up the pitch, it'll go uh, to Toby who's challenging with the 15, this time it comes across the box, good challenge from the number 6 to stop anything from happening there. Reggie has it on the far side of the pitch and he plays it forward looking for Thomas, he's jumping with the number 19, wins the ball uh, twice there, gets his body in front, plays it back to me, I play a little pass through looking for Jed, number 6 comes across, gets a bit lucky maybe and the 11 clears it up. We've already scored from one of my deliveries, but can I make this one any better as it's into the box there? It goes to the header, Thomas, it's a free header, and maybe he could do a lot better with that as it goes wide of the target. And you can see he's disappointed in himself uh, for that attempt. They've got it halfway through their half, but we're still going with that mentality of if we press them, they're going to make mistakes. And you can see it looks like one mistake is around the corner. Keeper doesn't look too comfy there, and we're going for it. Number 15 seems to have afforded himself a bit of space as he plays in behind looking for the 7. Jamie comes across to try and deal with him. Does almost enough. Oh, 7's almost got the ball back but Carell's there to help him sweep up. 7 comes back at Carell and eventually Bradley's able to calmly play it to Tolu. They've got it over on the far side. It's going to be played in by the number 4 into the 7. He gets his head to it but no danger there. This time they've tried to throw a pass forward but it's uh, well defended by Carell up against the number 9. Tolu then brings the ball to me. I've got plenty of space in front of me. Try and play an early pass through to Jed. It's cut out. Uh, by their right back, it'll come back to me. I get a second chance to play to the far post towards Toby. Toby up against the number 15. He goes for a shot and it's hit off the post with his left foot and the 15 sweeps it out for a throw-in. They've been able to clear it from that throw-in and it'll come out on the edge of the box to Tolu. Can he find space for a shot? Tolu, can he line it up? He goes for the shot in the end and it's a curling effort, but it's too easy for their keeper in the end. Well in town have found themselves with a free kick just inside our half and it's played into the box. Number 19 gets up quite high. He's got a pretty good jump, but Jamie calmly clears the ball away. Here on the balls with number 20 who's always been a tricky customer. He skips away from Luke quite nicely there and then the ball will go across to number 17 but Tolu's on him like a rash. They're still coming at us once more as uh, Reggie defends well there up against the number 9. The ball will go back to their right back who's played it onto the 17. Tries to keep it alive as uh, number 9 tries a bit of footwork there past Jed but Jed does well to retrieve possession for UTR as he cuts inside. He gets his head up. Can he play a switch pass? He does. It looks like it'll get to Toby. How about that for a touch up against the number 15. Number 15's all over Toby's back there. Bounce beats Toby there, tries to get across into the box and it will just run out for a corner. That corner then to be taken from the right hand side, it's in by Toby and literally the 14's taking it right off my head as it comes out on the edge of the box to Tolu. Can he get another shot off on target and this time it will go behind but it's going to be a corner because what you don't get to see on the camera is there was a slight touch of the number four. I'm over to take the corner and uh, it looks like it's not going to matter because I've absolutely kicked the ground and it's gone into the side netting. Poor corner. Number 11 for Well in Town, once again under pressure from Tolu. That quick press from Tolu is very dangerous as I put in a tackle there, goes to the number 4 and it looks like a bit of a wasteful ball forward from the number 4. It's just been put up the pitch by Mitch, it's flicked off the head of the 14 there, bit of a loose pass from Thomas as uh, Toby's not going to give it up though, he gets around the number 15 but how about that for a great recovery tackle from him, he's battled well and he eventually wins the throne as well. This time it comes across and Toby does well to get his body in front up against the number 6, he's also won us the free kick. That free kick has Bradley standing over it and he clips it into the box there. This time it's going to hit off the chest of Thomas and then further cleared away by the number four. But Tolu comes across and it seems like he's intimidated his, his opponent there as the number 20 gets sent to the weight room as well. Number 15 comes across to help and well in town do retrieve possession. But you're going to see Tolu is a big lad so it's not easy to move him off the ball. And you can see the number 20 experience that just then. Looks like they're going to break here with the right back who likes to run forward a little bit. Judge trying to tussle with him there. I put in a challenge on him there. He's gone over the referee. He's not happy with the 
challenge though, and it seems like he's going to give Wellington the free kick. Not something that I agreed with at the time. Number 17 for Wellington goes over to take that free kick. It's into the box and it's gone off the head of Bradley. It's behind for a corner. That goes into the box, but it's going to be Reggie to clear it first as it drops down to the number 20 here who keeps it alive. But Tolu then stops their attack and then Luke can get the ball up the pitch. We've got it, but it looks like we are under pressure as Reggie then gives the ball away to the number nine who gets his body across quite nicely. Good challenge from Reggie and Carell, though even better one, comes out to the number 17 who takes a little swipe at it. I then clear it away from the seven. It'll go to Jed who slides into the path for Tolu and then it looks like Jed might be able to continue a UTR attack there as it goes into the path of Thomas. Thomas then plays it back at the chest of Jed. Jed skips past the four and he is brought down. So the referee is going to give a yellow card for the number four. Although he doesn't agree with it, we have the free kick. That free kick is going to be taken by myself once again. It's better than the last corner, but it's not a great delivery. It's too close to the goalkeeper. They are looking for that goal before half time to maybe boost their morale as this time the ball drops down to Tolu. I've left it to Tolu. Uh, number seven comes across, doesn't really press him and I'm able to pick up the ball. Have plenty of time but for some reason I've rushed the pass and the 14 is able to pick that up so it looks like that is going to be the end of that attack. Bit of a 50-50 in the middle, it comes across. I get there ahead of the 14 and also put a challenge on the 19 as this time Jed plays into Thomas. Thomas then finds Jed back out wide who's got a couple of players with him. He's got the 19 and four uh, trying to stop his path towards goal as this time he plays it back into me I play it into Jed I think I'm fouled there referee doesn't see much wrong with it and he's gonna blow his whistle for half time so we are one nil up it's looking good so far but will we be able to keep things going in the second half come in boys come in Woo. boys excellent excellent they are wrestling boys they're still talking about last game how many months ago is he this year boy from me the work rate I was showing in that half was beautiful everyone was working for each other but my thing, Reg, can't, you can't be lazy with it. You can't be lazy with it, yeah? Let's be strong in the second half. Let's be smart, smarter. We're playing amazing football out there. They ain't got anything on us. First game, we were shocking. This game, okay. Honestly, let's go, let's get it. Um, the thing is, sorry, man. No, all no, of no. us are saying good half, good half. Fam, fair enough, it's a good half. It's a better half than what we played yeah, them last yeah. time. Yeah. We yeah. have yeah. not reached our best. I keep saying this. I wouldn't even call that 5% of what we're doing. Literally, all we're doing is the dirty stuff, the doggies, the battling. We're better than that. We love to play football. Let's do it in their half. Sometimes we can keep the ball driving to space. I know it's tough because obviously this pitch is bigger than our pitch, but talk earlier. Sometimes we're doing last minute shouts. Our player doesn't know what to do. But apart from that, honestly, back four, first five was a bit shaky, but after that, they had nothing. They have that nine who's peeling off. But talk to me and um, yeah, sitting, Luke, sitting four up if there, we're though. doing a flat three, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just get us the screen or so on do deepest. But if he goes in and we're not there, yeah. you guys have to gamble, <coughs> get tight. The rest of you have to jump <coughs> in, but you have to talk it across. Because yeah. if it's not, they'll um, get in. And honestly, if they get a one-on-one, -on -one, just think of it, they'll score. So let's give them nothing. nothing. And let's test their keeper. We had one shot, they ain't done nothing. Look, they all think they're good in the air. One free kick, one goal. Let's go again, second half, boys. All I've got to say is, because they, they like to play out from the back, we have to show them one way. They're, they're dangerous if if they get it to come inside, then they go back out. Back out so if we're forcing them outside, we know it's going to be a channel ball. We've got people to win it in the air, and then we just have to pick up seconds, and then we go again. That's the only thing. But it's been good. It's been good. The battling, I said last week, this battle that we did last week, and you guys done it from minute one. So that can't drop second half. The only thing it can do is get better. Mm -hmm. So don't, say, don't let the standard drop at all. And I say as well, <coughs> we talked a bit of trash, so let's back it up now. Yeah, 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 if we yeah. let them back into this game, we won't even want to sleep tonight. Listen, it's never too early to talk trash here, yeah? but make sure your performance is backed up. Listen, mm -hmm. I've been talking trash. My first touch has been all over the place, but I'll still take them out for anything. <coughs> so go second half, make sure your fight is there. Yeah. And then we'll win this game that like, comfortably. Mitch. Great saves. Yeah, just drop five yards and then just pick up the <coughs> You're all going to win the headers. They ain't going to beat you in the end. If they are going to keep more players up top now, Luke just shadowed the yeah. front line. Just always be around it. So if, it, if they are going to come, because they're not, they're not able to turn. So you can nick it off the front and then let these two 
go forward. Good. Our second half have always been better than our first boys. Uh, Let's go again. Let's put it in. Keep the same mentality. Oh, yeah. Keep the same mentality. Oh, yeah. Go boys! Let's go boys! Make sure you go and follow all the Under the Radar social pages to keep up with us. And also, as you're watching Sunday League right now, tweet me a picture of where you're watching it from, what you're watching it on, and use the hashtag UTR Gang. Second half's ready to begin, but the referee's not happy with uh, Tolu's position. Obviously, he's not supposed to be in the centre circle, so he sends him back. But all of a sudden, when the fourth start happens, the number eight's in a half, and Tolu's not too happy with that. So the referee takes it back again, and kickoff is finally retaken. So now we can start the second half. We are 45 minutes, or less than 45 minutes, away from being in another semi final. Let's find out what happens. It's just been smacked up the pitch, and it's going to be a challenge there between Thomas and the number six as it comes down to myself. And it will go out wide to Toby. We have, uh, it looks like Bradley on the overlap that side. It goes back into me from Toby. Number 15 is just about missed it. A bit of a lucky pass there. Can we make something happen from this? Bradley crosses it into the box. Goes into the head of Thomas. And it looks like we might have scored. But it's gone behind the goal. And once again, an opportunity to make it 2-0. We might need to get that second goal. Otherwise, we could find ourselves dropping this game. Well, in town, I've made a few subs. And they've brought on this number eight. Who seems to have won a free kick there of Corral. It's a, a bit of a new trouble to deal with. As they've taken this free kick quite quickly. It goes out to number 20 will he be able to keep it in play doesn't look like it it goes out it's going to be our throw here and the ball's bouncing towards Jamie as he keeps it in play with his left foot and it goes towards Reggie still not really happening for that 20 he's having a horrible day at the moment he's just shoved to the ground Reggie then takes it in field he's got quite a few well in town players around him almost five there to be honest and he's won us the free kick on the edge of the box yellow card for the number 10. Jed's going to be the man to take this one. He's going to step up and take it. Right footed. It's dipping and it just dips wide of the left post. It's not a bad effort to be fair. We've got it here with Tolu up against the number 10. Nice bit of composure here just to slow it down and then try and pick a pass. The pass doesn't seem to be successful but it allows Thomas to put them under pressure there. He's up against the goalkeeper. It's a bit casual and he gets, he gets very lucky there to be fair. It's up for a challenge again and it's going to be that man Tolu, our captain, showing and leading by example there with a big strong header. The ball goes into Thomas who sets the ball uh, back to Luke. It's then out wide for Toby. I then make a run down the line and the linesman here looks like he's going to flag four offside and we aren't able to continue that attack. Let's not forget that Wellintown are still very much in this game as there's a nice turn from the number eight and he accelerates away from Carell and then Carell trips Jamie. Unfortunately for them, number eight shot is wild and wide of the target. This time it's just been contested over on the far side. It'll come back into me and as I've jumped to win that header, number 14 shoved me in the back so it's jarred my neck and it's given me a burning sensation and trust me, it was not nice. Uh, he did say he didn't mean it though and he apologised so we'll just play on and go from there. Number 20 now for Wellintown trying to improve his day with a shot from the edge of the box but it's charged down quickly by Jed as Jed tries to break away. He cuts inside away from the number 20. Number 20's tugging his shirt there. No foul given. Little clip there. No foul given. Comes across from the 14's. Won the ball back for Wellintown and is trying and calm the play down. It comes out to the right back. He tries to keep the play alive. It comes down to the number eight. He's trying to change the game for them and he's not doing a bad job of it. There with the step overs there. The referee's given the free kick for the clip and they will get one, a chance from the edge of our box. Number 17 then to try one from distance. It's dipping, but it dips over the bar. Reggie's got a throw inside their half for us. I'm trying to get round this number 19 here and get to the ball. He's literally giving me a piggyback and they'll get the goal kick. Number 14 for well in town seems to have been caught in possession. Thomas wins it back for us. I come across and I've been absolutely swiped out by that guy there. And it's one of those where if I didn't pull out and try and avoid the challenge, I probably could have come up, uh, come out of that one a lot worse. Like, it could have been really bad. Yeah, you can even see that's what I'm saying to one of their players. He believes that I dived, but that is nowhere near a dive. I'm standing over this free kick and this time instead of going for the far post, I try and go for Jed and I just get it all wrong. So it's straight to the keeper. Just over 30 minutes to be played in this game. We are nearing a semi-final. Can we do it? Can we hold on? As this time I play the ball to Tolu, who seems to have found a bit of a gap for Thomas to chase into. Number 14 is going to chase back there, and we have one a throw in. That break in play gives us the opportunity to make a substitution. We're going to bring off Carell and bring on Sam this time. That throw is taken by Bradley. It'll go to the number 12, and it'll come back out to Bradley. Second chance to deliver the ball into the box. Cleared out by the number 10. It'll come out on the edge for Toby. Toby goes for an attempt. It bounces, but just wide of the right post. Almost caught the keeper off guard. Looks like the ball's going to be contested between the 14 and Thomas. It'll come down to my feet here up against the 12, 10 and 14. Skip past the 14 and the 19 as well. And it will be a free kick there. Clash of the knees as well. One of the ones that I do hate to have. But got a free kick and an opportunity to score. Reggie's going to stand over this free kick. Then he goes for it. And it looks like it's hit one of their players in the wall this time. Yep, it was the 14 who was feeling the effects of that one. It's just bounced over the halfway line. And Toby's going to take over. Gets it past the 15 who's been for uh, in for a 
battle the whole game as this time Toby plays it into me. I'm clipped by the number six. Looks like the ref's giving the advantage and I'll pick up the ball again up against the number 14 who's got his arms all over me. Assistant doesn't see anything wrong with it. Ref doesn't see anything wrong with it. And play continues as the 15 comes across and then Toby here is able to win us a throw in. Whilst he's done that though and it seems like he's gotten one in the back of the leg but you know he's a soldier. You know he's going to continue and we're going to get up and play once more. Bradley from the far side throws it into the box and it's cleared away by the number six only as far as Tolu back into the box. Jed goes for a swipe at it there, can't connect and this time Wellington can get rid. It's inside our half but it looks like we have an opportunity to clear it but we've been caught in possession there. This time it's Luke being caught and it goes in from the 14. It's cleared out by Reggie. It looks like it's a backs against the wall performance here from the defence and I would like to say so far the defence have done their job. The ball's come down to Reggie here. Number 14 comes across, looks like a little bit of a handball then it's a wrestling match between uh, Reggie and the number 12 free kick to Wellington. Town. I'm not sure if you guys noticed or not, but Jed wasn't moving freely from the start of the game. He was carrying an injury going into this one and he wasn't feeling too great. Not good news for us. Play goes on though and the 17-4 Wellington will deliver a corner into the back post. It's headed away uh, by Tolu and can he get it clear further? Can UTR get on a counter-attack? Tolu's played it into me. I then have Toby to my right. I've played it out wide to Toby. He then sees Thomas in a little gap there. It goes to Thomas. I'm making the overlap. Reggie's at the far post. Thomas goes for a shot and it looks like once again it's gone in but it's behind the goal and we are left frustrated once more still searching for that second goal in this game. Over on the right hand it's been thrown into uh, Thomas by Bradley as he gets the return pass and plays the ball into the box. Number 12's climbed all the way on Jed's back. Apart the referee doesn't see anything wrong with it. We were claiming for a penalty, maybe. The game's only really going to get scruffier as this time I put in a challenge on the 15. It comes across. Toby's come to help me out as well and he pokes it past the number 8. Looks like we might get something on the attack there. But the 19's in there to battle with Thomas. Thomas then wins the ball back. Number 8 comes across and we've given away a free kick. But what he didn't see is this. After Thomas has won the ball back there, a little clip from the 19 and then Thomas gets a, a chain reaction and also gives away a free kick. So, a bit unfortunate there. Referee maybe didn't see it. With that free kick then, it's going to be the number 8 for well in town as he looks up for, it seems like the number 19 at the back post. Luke kicks it off the 18 though and it goes out for a goal kick. They look frustrated though at this point. One thing that I do have to commend is uh, we did try and keep this work rate up for the whole game. As you can see, we're still trying to press. It goes into the number 8 this time. They've got a bit of space there. Number 9 tries to thread one through again, but Lewis is quick off his line. Good decision and he clears it up the pitch for us. They're running out of time really to find a way back into the game and they're trying to do that with uh, playing out from the back again. This time it's going to go to the goalkeeper. He's put under a little bit of pressure from Thomas this time. Goes into the Wellington man there and he's been caught in possession by myself and I've got him through and I've slotted it past the goalkeeper so it's 2-0. We are 2-0 up. I don't know what I'm doing with my celebration but sometimes you know how it is in football. You can't control your emotions but we are 2-0 up in this quarter final and we've got pretty much one leg in the semi-final. Can we keep it going though? You can see we're all elated. We need to keep our heads now and see if we can get more goals or hold it off till the end of the game. Another substitution then, this time Jamie's going to come off and we're going to bring Carell back onto the pitch. Right, so, well in town, their heads are all over the place at the moment. We've gotten into their heads so far and it looks like the game is ours for the taking this time. Bradley throws it back to Lewis. Lewis, a mistake from Lewis and it looks like he might have given well in town a hand back into the game. He's given them a chance and this number 17 who scores against me all the time. All the time at Eltham, everywhere, he scored and then, look, he even does this. He runs over to the centre spot, slams the ball down and screams it. I don't know what's going on there, but he scored again. That is literally the last thing we needed. Something that gives them momentum and demoralises us. For us to basically concede like that, it's not great. And you can see they've put us under pressure and we started to make mistakes. So with the last 13 minutes plus additional time we have to play, we have to play smart, we have to graft. We have to make sure that we see this result out. As you can see, challenges are flying in there. Toby gets across the 15. They're calling for a foul. Seven comes across and almost kicks Toby in the head there. Bit dangerous there, but they've gotten the free kick. That free kick going to be taken by the number six into the box. And this time, Lewis comes out and claims it. Reggie does well to put his body on the line and he's won us a free kick just inside our box. Well, in town, though, still throwing the kitchen sink at us. As this time, Tolly wins another header. He's won quite a few of this game. It goes to the number eight who hasn't controlled it there. This time, I'm going for the ball. And the number eight's come across me there. And as you can see, I have fallen very very, very awkwardly he's committed the foul and this time guys my shoulder has popped out of place at this moment you can see me screaming in agony and then all of a sudden it clicks back into place I'll play the replay again so you can see it but honestly I was in so much pain never ever has something like this 
happen to me ever and it's so annoying because for me it was unnecessary didn't need to happen was just chasing the ball guy steps across me and I fall into the ground now here's the time for squeamish viewers to look away because if you don't like seeing stuff like this it's not gonna be nice for you anyway so as you can see I'm chasing the ball he steps across my path and my arm has fallen under me so I am in absolute pain like I said, never had anything like it, and it was just all totally new to me. I sort of sit up and I realise like something is out of place there. You can see me screaming, and then as you see, like just before I release to go to the ground, you see my shoulder pop back into place on its own. Just there, literally crazy stuff. Absolutely never had anything like it. I think I must have something wrong with me because the right thing to do would be actually still off the pitch, get ready to go to hospital, whatever. But I've decided to come back on because I'm a donut. Anyway, Seven's got the ball four well in town and Jed puts in a nice block there on the number seven as this time the number seven seems to have one possession back there with a bit of luck. Jed slipped there as well. Tolu's come across putting a foul on the number seven, I believe so. As Lewis comes across, they're claiming a penalty. That's never going to be one. But it comes across to this guy and it's hit the hands of Carell. But has he got any space to move? He's sliding there. It's hit his hands point blank and the referee, in my opinion, has made the right decision because I would call for it anyway. Like I always say to you guys, I'm honest. I would call for those things in those situations. But I've seen them given and I've also seen them not given. So it could go either way. They've just gotten a free kick here and the 15 decides to take it quickly. It looks like the 19 might get a chance to get into the box but Bradley with a good challenge there to put it out for a corner. That corner then goes into the box from the number 7 and it's a good decision from Lewis to tip it over the bar. Number 17 to get the ball into the box this time. In swing in towards Lewis though and he's going to bring it down. We have the opportunity to slow the game down. Remember we have just over 3 minutes plus whatever added time to play in this game but I've been calling for the ball for Lewis and he's gone to sidewinder it it's hit Luke in the head and uh, the number eight has not been too far off putting that in the net it has been a mistake on our part we've rushed it and to be honest I was just saying to the guys let's get the ball as far as the, up the pitch as we can and let's keep it there because we were uh, soaking up a lot of pressure Another throw for Wellingtown to be taken from the number seven. It's not a bad one into the box. It's cleared away by Sam and it's going to drop down to the 18. But his touch is loose and it looks like UTR could be on a counter attack to seal the game. Jed's pass is blocked at the first time Vaskin and this time he's got Reggie to his left. What can we do? Can we make something happen from this attack? Reggie plays the ball into the box but straight at the goalkeeper and a big opportunity missed. Maybe we should have been heading for the corner there, maybe. That then gives them the opportunity to come back at us again. This time it's uh, 19 now. Putting a little trip on him there and the referee then decides to brandish the card. I don't know why he was holding his head though, he went down and he didn't seem too happy with the tackle at all. Meanwhile, up the other end of the pitch and Bradley's thrown it for me to take it towards the corner. I take it towards that side, number 10's fouled me there, referee doesn't see anything wrong with it. And then guys, once again, the shoulder has popped out, so this does look like it will be the end of my game there. Probably shouldn't have played on, silly decision from myself, but when I see a ball and I see the team playing, I just want to be on the pitch, that's just the way it works. And uh, yeah, I wasn't too happy with the linesman or the referee there. I thought I was fouled initially. And uh, yeah, in the end, you can see myself expressing that as they expressed their concerns for the time because they felt I was time wasting. I don't really time waste, not really. Anyway, finally this time I'm off the pitch. Jamil's gonna come in for the last few moments of the game just to see this out, and then hopefully we can do just that. Not long left to be played at all. Jed wins this header there. It goes down to Sam, and the referee blows the whistle. So there it is, the game is done. We are into another semi-final, guys, and can we go all the way? Two semi-finals, that's a great opportunity to win some silverware, win some trophies, and that's what we're gonna try and do. Uh, but yeah, unfortunate for me, I've come out of the game with an injury, so it hasn't been joy without uh, a bit of defeat as well. And uh, hopefully I do recover from this soon, because honestly, like I said, it's just, it's just not normal for me. But yeah, big win. Uh, I think, I'm not gonna say we played well, I don't think we played well, but I think the graft inside of the team is starting to come through. We're starting to graft results. And that's what happens even when you're not playing well, but you're doing the right things in terms of work rate and uh, getting stuck into tackles, winning your headers. You will win games. And that is exactly what we've done there. So I came off pleased, but not pleased with the football inside of things. But we're only going to get better. We're going to try our best to give you guys the best results and hopefully get some silverware. It'll be nice. But yeah, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed watching this Sunday League video. Maybe we can hit 10,000 likes on it. You guys can see if you can absolutely smash that target. But yeah, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace. Today, that was, that was amazing. Yeah, yeah. Everyone worked hard yeah, yeah, yeah. from start to finish. Have a minor little hiccup with, with Mitch, but that's fine. It happens. We get complacent sometimes, but we finish it, and we finish strong, and that's what we did today. Yeah, yeah. So, boys... Boys, oh, okay. one, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. Listen, that's a 2 0 walk. Comfortable. Comfortable. But like I say, God likes to test people who are at the top of their game. We went 2 1. 
and then all of a sudden we're rattled. But listen, you guys, honestly, I couldn't even shout at you lot. Do what I wanted to shout at you lot. You lot were blowing and you're running your socks off because you wanted to win. Mm -hmm. Nobody out there could say you wanted to lose. Mm -hmm. And I'm absolutely proud of you because last week I said, if you guys fight like that, I'll fight like that for you always. Listen, I will shout at you, grill you, but honestly, well played today, boys. Yeah, we battled yeah, we battled, yeah, we battled, yeah, we battled for that. Can I say as well, boys? <laughs> to be fair, we went 2 1, silly mistake. Cool. Yeah. But that happened. That shows that can happen to anyone. It's happened to Edison, it happened to anyone. So, I think we kept it well. Normally, we could have lost our heads a bit more. Yeah, definitely. I've experienced it at Elton and stuff like that, but we kept it tight. And what I do like is everyone battled. And like I said, we came to rattle them. We rattled them. That Don, that number eight that came on, he's switching, going, we said we're going to smash him in the group chat. You lot. <laughs> look, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm glad. Look, my shoulder's frozen, but I'm going. <laughs> That's sick. I appreciate all of you. Everyone that came on did a shift. Boys, well honestly, let's rate jams. Two seconds on the. Yeah. Stay with me until the night. Take time. I take time when I make mine. I keep it real. I never fake mine. On the camera in the meantime. Kinda quiet when it's me time. I breathe thighs in my free time Subscribe and you rewind That's how we do it when we on